Hi everybody, Ryan here again. Uh, today we're going to change out our uh, little trailer wiring uh, pigtail here, uh, bulkhead fitting, cannon plug. Uh, I've had some issues with uh, my trailer lights in the past, uh, with the clearance lights, and it's you'll see once we take the old uh, old harness out. Uh, I mean, like I was talking about with that uh, truck buying video. Um, truck's been in a lot of salt and it just uh, ruins these connections. Uh, so this, uh, I ordered this from Kenworth. We stopped and uh, picked it back up on our way back from Cleveland this morning. Uh, it was about $225 for this little harness and plug. Uh, but you got to have it. So I've already kind of, it's already been hacked once down there to try to, to limp it through. Uh, but it's just, it, now I'm starting to have some issues with ABS on the trailers. So, uh, harnesses it's done so quick fix here probably only takes about 10 minutes to change it out really only thing you're going to need is a pair of uh pair of dikes here to cut some zip ties with 10 millimeter wrench some sockets and i'm going to use my impact driver here and of course uh if you're working on the gravel a nice little cardboard creeper if you will um i probably won't i'm going to go ahead and replace my uh my airlines and the uh, trailer pigtail as well because I kind of had to modify um, the end up here to get myself back because I lost the uh, lost my clearance lights. So I'll show you that little uh, trick too. So that way, if you're in that situation and you can't, they had to order this at Kenworth. Um, I, I work with a pretty big Kenworth dealer up there in Richfield, Ohio. So they usually got stuff, but they like I said they had to order this. So if you're in a situation. I'll show you how you can fix your marker lights or clearance lights. Um, turn signals and brake lights are a little bit different story. If you lose those, there's not a whole lot you can do, but like for the, the lights that are on all the time, you can kind of inside this socket, you can buy these types of socket at any truck stop for about 20 bucks where, and you can actually take it apart and you can run a jumper wire from your clearance to your tail lights or vice versa, the stuff that's on all the time to, to get you running through. So with that, we'll go ahead and uh, take this old guy off here. Let's see what we got. So I'm just gonna start up here, take this part off and move on to the bottom. One bolt, stainless bolts, and we'll get the one on the back. I'm actually probably easier to get down underneath there to get to that side. Yeah, I'll get underneath. Get that off. So we got a couple zip ties, or at least one here. I have to cut it, get that out of the way. And then um, this cannon plug here. Get all the grease off of it. Let's should pull off. All right. So 
Now we'll come back up on top and we'll pull it through. Pry bar, make this a little easier. So there's the old one. You can see that green stuff, that's that corrosion I was talking about. So this has already been kind of hacked up by somebody once. Um, so here's what it is. I don't think that was supposed to come apart like that. <laughs> so that's junk. So now we will put the new one in. So, Take these gloves off. This kind of an awkward position to work from. I have to get on top. Bolts back in. little hard time trying to get that in all right so i got that bulkhead fitting screwed in there or tightened up um, so we're just going to plug this in uh, now these got not different size notches three of them around there so there's you can't screw this up as far as hooking it up wrong you just got to find the spot where it slides in and just tighten it in till it locks There, that's it. So now all I do is put a, a new zip tie on here and um, that's it for that project. So hopefully that fixes the, the problem. But, uh, let me get out of here. <laughs> Ah.
All right, so that's pretty much it for this, pr this project. Uh, pretty simple. Um, next time I'm gonna take these lines off down here, take these uh, guide hands off, and just switch this whole unit out. So pretty simple, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Uh, I'm gonna do that here a little bit later. Got some other things to do now. But um, we got that in, and uh, like I say, if you're having those uh, issues with your uh, trailer wiring and it's not your pigtail, then um, most likely it's either in the trailer somewhere or in that little harness or in your chassis harness. Um, because this, this little jumper harness we just put on now, um, that's the final stop before your chassis harness. So if there's something in there that has to be replaced, um, chassis harnesses, can, I mean, that's the whole wiring harness for the whole truck. They can get pretty expensive or you have to find out where it's messed up at and try to fix it wherever it's bad. But um, in my case, and probably in a lot of other people's cases, probably right there in that socket, um, or right there on that cannon plugs where you're having your problems. So um, we say if you're, if you got a Kenworth like this, you're having those issues, uh, check that thing out there first, and, or after you, you know, try a pigtail, of course, because sometimes they go bad as well. I mean, your trailer pigtail here, so. Um, but other than that, I was gonna show you guys how I kind of rigged this up to get this back home. Now let me have to grab a screwdriver. We got two screwdrivers real quick. <laughs> okay, so if you can't figure this out on the road and like say you have marker lights but you don't have clearance lights or you have clearance lights but no marker lights or tail lights, um, you can buy one of these uh, $20 plugs for the trailer end or really either end at uh, TA or Petra or wherever, most places sell them. And you can take this apart. Hopefully. Yeah, that's probably going on forever. <laughs> yeah. So what you can do here is uh, these are all got set screws. Let's see, I believe what I did was run um, from my marker lights or tail lights here. I just ran a jumper wire off of that over here to my uh, clearance light. So I just drawed power off of that and kind of fixed the problem. I mean, didn't fix the problem, but it, it got me through a jam. So I wasn't, I, I don't like tearing into what big wiring problems on the road because nine times out of 10, you're gonna screw something else up and you're gonna make more trouble for yourself. So this is the easiest way. I mean, and you could do that. If you had clearance lights, you could run it over to the, uh, the uh, marker lights or tail light side to get power or wherever, so um, there is a ground on this too. It has its own ground to the truck, to the chassis, so um, so that's just a little trick there that might help you out if you're in that, that problem, but since I've fixed this, I'm gonna have to put the regular, put, put a new pigtail and all that on, so. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave it with that. Uh, hope that helps you guys out, and hope you enjoy the video, so like it, like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the bell for the updates as well. And um, you guys know we're always doing Landstar stuff, owner op stuff, uh, truck maintenance stuff as we're doing now. Um, farming season's coming in, tractor work to do, and starting plants and all that. So be watching out for that stuff too if you're interested in that type of thing. But with that, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.